Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve few problems related to conditional probability. In this question, they have given P of A, P of B and P of A intersection B value and they want P of A by B. So by formula, P of A by B is P of A intersection B whole divided by P of B and the values are 4 by 13 divided by P of B is 9 by 13. After simplification we get 4 by 9. Next one they have given the values of P of A, P of B and P of B by A. First in subdivision we have to find P of A intersection B. Since we know the value of P of B by A, we are going to take P of B by A and going to write the formula. So P of B by A equal to P of B intersection A divided by P of A. Now this value is 0.5 and B intersection A or A intersection B both are same. So I can interchange this as P of A intersection B because the question they have given they want the value of P of A intersection B divided by P of A from the question it is 0.8. By cross multiplication we get P of A intersection B is 0.8 into 0.4 and we have to move two decimal places. So the answer is 0 0.32. In second subdivision, they ask P of A by B. So we are going to write the formula P of A by B which is P of A intersection B by P of B. The value of P of A intersection B is 0 0.32. P of B which is given in the question 0 0.5. Now after division we get 0 0.64. Then third subdivision they want P of A union B. We got to write the formula for P of A union B which is P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. We can take the values from the question. P of A is 0 0.8. P of B is 0 0.5. P of A intersection B we got for the first subdivision which is 0 0.5. 3 2. After simplification we get 0 0.98. Next one we have to evaluate P of A union B. They have given 2 times of P of A equal to P of B equal to 5 by 13. So by taking these two we get 2 times of P of A equal to 5 by 13. So from this P of A will be 5 by 26. Now taking these two we get directly the value of P of B which is 5 by 13 and they have also given P of A by B. So P of A by B is given as 2 by 5. Now let's write the formula for P of A by B. This is P of A intersection B whole division P of B. Now this value is 2 by 5 and this we have to find out P of A intersection B whole division P of B is 5 by 13. We can cross multiply. So P of A intersection B will be 
2 by 5 into 5 by 13. After cancelling this, we get the value as 2 by 13. Now using this, we can evaluate P of A union B. Let us write the formula first. P of A union B equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. And this value is P of A. We can take from this which is 5 by 26. P of B is 5 by 13. So 5 by 26 plus 5 by 13 minus 2 by 13. You can make the common denominator by multiplying these two terms with 2 and these two terms with 2. So the common denominator is 26. The numerator we have 5 plus 10 minus 4. Totally it is 11 by 26. Coming to the next one, they have given P of A, P of B and P of A union B. In the first subdivision, they want P of A intersection B. We are going to write the formula for P of A union B, which is P of A union B equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. And P of A union B is 7 by 11. P of A is 6 by 11. This is 5 by 11 minus P of A intersection B. We can take this P of A intersection B to the other side. So it become positive. And here by adding these two, it is 11 by 11. And this 7 by 11, we can take to the other side as a subtraction. So after subtraction, it is 4 by 11. Then subdivision 2, they want P of A by B. The formula is P of A intersection B whole divided by P of B. So A intersection B, we got it from the previous subdivision and P of B is 5 by 11. After cancelling, we get 4 by 5. Then third subdivision, P of B by A. The formula is P of A intersection B or B intersections. A both are same but divided by P of A. So the numerator, we can write either B intersection A or A intersection B because both are same. And this value 4 by 11 divided by P of A which is 6 by 11. So after cancelling, we get 4 by 6. Again after dividing by 2, we get 2 by 3. Coming to the next one, they have given the value of P of A, P of B and P of A by B. We have to find P of A dash by B dash. Now let us start from the given P of A by B by formula it is P of A intersection B by P of B. This value is 0 0.5 and P of A intersection B is written as it is. P of B is 0 0.2. Now by cross multiplication we get the value of P of A intersection B which is 0 0.5 into 0 0.2. 5 2s are 10. And we have to move 2 decimal places. So it is 0 0.1. Now we are going to find P of A dash by B dash. By formula P of A dash by B dash is nothing but P of A dash intersection B dash whole division P of B dash. Now in the numerator we can use the De Morgan's law. P of A dash intersection B dash can be written as P of A union B whole dash. And denominator we have P of 
B dash. For both numerator and denominator, we can use 1 minus the complement formula. So, in the numerator is 1 minus P of A union B and the denominator is 1 minus P of B. Once again, we are going to use the formula for P of A union B which is P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. Whole division 1 minus P of B. Now this is 1 minus P of A and P of B values from the question it is 0 0.6, 0 0.2. 0 0.6 plus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 whole divided by 1 minus 0 0.2. Now in the numerator after simplification this becomes 0 0.7 divided by 0 0.8. So finally it is 0 0.3 by 0 0.8 which is 3 by 8. Coming to the next one they have given the probability of A, B and A intersection B. In first subdivision, they want the value of P of A by B. P of A by B by formula, it is P of A intersection B by P of B and this value is 1 by 4 by 1 by 3 and this can be written as 1 by 4 into 3 by 1 totally it is 3 by 4. Second subdivision P of B by A which means P of again A intersection B or B intersection A divided by P of A 1 by 4 divided by 1 by 2. So after cancelling we get 1 by 2. In third subdivision they want P of A dash by B which can be written as 1 minus P of A by B. So 1 minus 3 by 4 which is 1 by 4. And fourth subdivision P of A dash by B dash which is P of A dash intersection B dash by P of B dash by De Morgan's law it is P of A union B whole dash by P of B dash which is 1 minus P of A union B whole divided by 1 minus P of B. Now using addition formula it is P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B whole division 1 minus P of B as it is. Now let's substitute the values. This is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 whole divided by 1 minus 1 by 3. You can take LCM which is 12. So this is 6 plus 4 minus 3 whole divided by 2 by 3. Now totally in the numerator it is 1 minus 7 by 12. Denominator is 2 by 3. So after simplification 12 minus 7 which is 5 by 12 into 3 by 2. You can cancel this and finally the answer is 5 by 8.